Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel UG More Tech. In today video, we will be unlocking the secrets behind UniGraphics NX interview questions and answers. If you're preparing for a career in UniGraphics NX or simply looking to enhance your knowledge, you've come to the right place. Stay ahead of the competition and join us on this enlightening journey into UniGraphics NX interview questions and answers. Don't miss out on this invaluable opportunity to boost your career prospects. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update on the latest industry insights, tips, and tutorials. We are committed to helping you achieve your goals and excel in the field of UniGraphics NX. Let's start with the number one in NX interview questions. What is UGNX Graphics? UGNX Graphics is a module within the UGNX software suite that focuses on creating and manipulating 2D and 3D graphical elements for design, engineering analysis, and manufacturing. The UGNX Graphics module provides a comprehensive set of tools and features for creating, manipulating, and visualizing 3D models and assemblies. It offers advanced graphics capabilities that enable users to interact with their designs in a realistic and intuitive manner. Friends next point in NX interview questions and answers is 2. What do you mean by gateway application in UGNX? UniGraphics functions are divided into applications of common capabilities, such as modeling, NX sheet metal, shape studio, drafting, manufacturing, assemblies etc. When you open UniGraphics, you are in the gateway application because this application is a prerequisite to all other application. The purpose of a gateway application is to facilitate seamless integration and collaboration between UGNX and external software, enabling users to leverage the capabilities of both systems simultaneously. It allows for the transfer of data, such as geometry, attributes, and other relevant information, between UGNX and the external application. Friends next point in NX CAD interview questions is 3. How can you create a 2D sketch in UGNX graphics? To create a 2D sketch, you can use the sketch command in UGNX graphics. This allows you to draw lines, arcs, circles, and other geometric shapes to define the desired profile. 1. Open UGNX graphics, launch UGNX, 2. Select the sketching plane, 3. Activate the sketching environment, point 4. Choose sketching tools, 5. Sketch geometry, point 6. Apply constraints and dimensions, point 7. Modify and edit the sketch point 8. Exit the sketching environment point 9. Save and reuse the sketch. Friends next point in UGNX interview is. 4. What are the expansion of IGES, STEP, DXF? IGES, IGES stands for Initial Graphics Exchange Specification. It is a neutral file format used for the exchange of 2D and 3D CAD data between different CAD systems. IGES files typically have the extension .ix or IGES. Step. Step stands for standard for the exchange of product model data. It is an ISO standard file format used for the exchange of 3D CAD data. Step files usually have the extension step or .stp. DXF. DXF stands for drawing exchange format. It is a file format developed by Autodesk for the exchange of 2D CAD data between different CAD systems. DXF. Files typically have the extension .dxf. These file formats play a crucial role in facilitating interoperability between different CAD systems, allowing users to exchange and collaborate on. Friends next point in NX interview questions and answers is. 5. What is sketch plane? To create a sketch, you must associate the sketch feature to a planar object. We can select a face or datum plane, this plane is known as sketching plane it serves as a reference for drawing and creating 2D profiles that can later be used to generate 3D models. When creating a sketch, you typically select a sketch plane to work on. This plane acts as a canvas where you can draw lines, arcs, circles, and other sketch elements to define the shape and dimensions of your design. The sketch plane provides a reference for positioning and aligning the sketch elements accurately. Friends next point in UGNX interview is 6. How can you apply materials to a model in UGNX graphics? In UGNX graphics, you can apply materials to a model using the tools, menu and select material to open the material dialog box. 
This allows you to assign different material to the model. Friends next point in uni graphics NX is. How many colors in are there in UG? There are 216 colors in UG. These colors can be used for various purposes, including applying colors to model surfaces, creating realistic renderings, defining material appearances, highlighting specific features, and more. UGNX allows you to select colors from the predefined color library or create custom colors using RGB or hexadecimal values. Friends next point in NX interview questions is. What are the different types of modeling? There are four types of modeling, solid modeling, feature-based modeling, free-form modeling, sheet metal feature modeling. Friends next point in interview questions is. 9. What is County Ordonate System? Co-Ordonate System is a reference element. It uses X, Y and Z co-ordinates while creating model. There are three types of County Ordinate Systems. The coordinate system in UGNX is a reference framework used to define the position and orientation of objects within the software. Friends next point in NX interview questions is. 10. What is the purpose of the assembly command in UGNX graphics? The assembly command in UGNX graphics is used to create assemblies by combining multiple parts or components together. It allows you to define relationships, constraints, and motion between the assembled parts. With the assembly command, you can simulate the interaction and movement of components, check for interferences, and ensure proper fit and functionality of the overall design. It is a powerful tool for visualizing and analyzing complex assemblies in UGNX. Friends next point in UniGraphics NX interview questions and answers is. 11. What is constraint? Constraints limit structural movement and represent mounts and supports. Constraints can be applied to faces, edges etc. There are two types of constraints. Point 1. Geometrical constraints. 2. Dimension constraints. Constraints are used to define and maintain relationships between different elements. Constraints in UGNX can be applied to various types of geometry, such as lines, arcs, circles, points, and more. They help maintain the desired relationships between these elements, even when modifications are made to the model. Friends next point in NX CAD interview is. 12. What is top down assembly? In top assembly we create the different parts in the same assembly file and assemble it there itself. Top down assembly is an approach used in UGNX, Siemens NX, for creating and managing assemblies by designing and controlling the components at the assembly level. In a top down assembly workflow, the overall assembly structure and relationships are defined first and then individual components are designed to fit within that structure. Friends next point in NX interview tips is. 13. How can you create exploded views in UGNX graphics? To create exploded views in UGNX graphics, you can use the explode command. This command enables you to separate and position components of an assembly to illustrate their individual parts and relationships. Friends next point in X software interview questions is. 14. What is the difference between modeling and assembly in NX? Modeling in NX refers to the creation of individual parts or components, while assembly involves combining those parts to create a complete product or system. Modeling focuses on the details of a single component, while assembly focuses on the relationships and interactions between multiple components. Both modeling and assembly are essential steps in the overall design process in NX. Reen's next point in NX interview questions is. 15. How many layers are there in UG? There are 256 layers in UG. Layers provide a way to control the visibility, selectability, and display properties of objects. They help in organizing complex designs, managing different design iterations, and facilitating collaboration among team members. Friends if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more informative content coming your way. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.